Okay, I just wanted to do a quick video um, I, um, of some treasure chest pictures that were received by Shiloh. So um, I'll go over these um, individually in detail, and then um, there's a couple close-ups that I will go over. Um, but I received them, and um, I now pass them over to you all. So Shiloh reached out and um, he indicated that some have been asking for the treasure chest pictures from what he was told. So he um, provided these, which are fantastic. Um, and I'll go over each of them in just a minute, but did want to let everyone know because I know um, it is the inside of the treasure chest for wood grain analysis that um, is, I know, of particular interest to a few of you. Um, so um, I did respond and let him know that when after I got the pictures. And so um, I, um, if I get anything back from him um, by way of information, I will share. But right now, these are the pictures he provided. But again, I did let I did let him know it's the inside that everybody is um, or some are really interested in so the first picture is the top of the treasure chest on a black matting of some sort and you will see um, several pictures with this black matting so it looks like it was all in one setting um, you can tell kind of in the middle between the two pillars on the top there's um, quite a bit of um, dirt um, I think build up that was one thing that I noted when um, and I think Copper Dan noted it um, when we were at the um, Texas event um, at Heritage um, it seemed that there was still especially in the back on the corners um, it seemed like there was some dirt buildup um, dried dirt type of thing so this is the first picture at the top um, and I do I tried to blow up that middle piece because these do seem to be high resolution pictures um, and that one didn't come out as well but there's a couple spots that have some dirt buildup that I'll show you because um, I blew them up real big from the original one and um, it didn't get grainy um, so I'll show you a little bit more of that in a minute. Okay, I'm not sure which side this is, but this is one of the sides and you can see um, if you take the pillars in the middle and on the left, you can see quite a bit of dirt buildup as well, dried dirt. Um, you will note on several of these that he seems to have blacked out the top um, and sides. Um, to, uh, I'm not sure why, but um, that is how I receive them. So I did not alter or change them at all. I'm just posting exactly what I was given. Um, but you can see this is one side um, of the chest and you can see it in rather um, specific detail as well. This is another side. You can see the hinge there on the left, so I'm not sure which side that makes it. I think the hinges are in the back, so from the front, this would make it the right. Um, I'll let you guys do all that fancy analysis. A um, couple things I noted here um, is, again, this picture has um, been fuzzed out at the top of the non-treasure chest part of it. Um, again, you can see the dirt pieces. Um, this is similar to the what I think the last one was, was the... Um, right side, this is the left side. Um, they're similar, but um, I think there's a little differences. Again, I'll let you guys uh, work all that analysis. Um, but again, um, interesting, um, real focused in. And the top, there's something shiny or some lighting on top, it looks like. Um, and you can see that reflection at the top. There's actually two pictures of the front, so I'll provide them both, but they are different. 
um, so are um, they're different pictures but the same angle um, so I wanted to provide those um, I do have an up up close version of this one because you can see if you look at the, the handle on the front over to the right top there's kind of a big um, grouping of dirt um, and I kind of just um, focused in on that in a couple of slides which was pretty cool um, again this is um, fussed out at the top um, this is the straight on version um, from the front of the treasure chest pretty cool Okay, here is the other one. Um, again, that grouping of dirt is still in that same spot, so it looks like it was still at the same time. It's under this black canvas, again, fuzzed out at the top. Um, but you can see a little bit more um, distinctly this angle, um, the top version or the top design a little bit better. Um, so it is different pictures, but from the same angle as the previous one. I know all the experts of the internet will take a, a better um, analysis and things than I did, um, but I did um, just pick a couple of pieces that I just thought were super interesting, and I'll show you that analysis now, but it's um, kind of a layman's analysis. Um, I'm sure much better minds than mine uh, will look at this in a lot more detail. So this one I blew up obviously from the front angle and you can see with the red circle, um, you can see the dirt build up. So it was kind of cleaned, but not completely cleaned and um, probably wasn't after that once um, it was, you know, I know during the heritage auction, some of them said cleaned and that's actually brought down value. So I'm sure the whatever was done was told, um, you know, don't do any more. And it was actually sold just um, like this, I believe. Um, I do have tons and tons and tons of pictures from the Heritage event that you guys can do some comparisons and see what you think as well, um, which would be interesting. Um, but this is a up close, real, real up close version. So for the conspiracy theorist in the room, you can see the upper um, circle on the left has some little blue behind it. The circle to the right has some sort of green included in it. Um, this is from one of the pictures. I don't know what it means, but I found it interesting. There, there were some things, there's some mystery in these pictures. Um, intentional, not, I don't know, but I hand over to you all, wonderful people.
So here's a recap of the pictures. Um, six provided by Shiloh. Just wanted to say thank you to Shiloh um, for providing them. Um, awesome, um, fun, um, and now community, you can go to work.